So let's say, hypothetically, you stayed up too late doing your physics homework and you're really tired the next day, but your beloved cat is meowing for attention as cats tend to do at the most opportune time when you've just sat down for a little break. Now, you wanna pet your cat and show it the love it deserves, but you also don't wanna stand up. So what I would recommend you do is use the wonderful piece of machinery I'm about to show you, the ultimate petting your kitty machine. Before I show you the video of how this works, I just want to clarify that my actual kitty is not featured in this video because apparently um, Evolution decided that a skittish fur baby afraid of loud noises was the best outcome for my cat. And so she was afraid of the <laughs> noises my machine makes. And so she's not actually the cat being pet in this incident. Um, the cat being pet is Chupacabra from El Salvador, which you will see shortly. So before I show you how it works, I'm going to just give you a little tour of the machine. It starts, well, you're sitting in this chair and you have this in your hand, and this is how you're going to start the machine. So a spring in this Nerf gun will launch this little dart over here to this book which will knock into this book, into that book, into that book, etc., etc. As you can see, there's a string right here holding up this car. And when this book is knocked over, the string will release the car and the car will roll down this inclined plane. Oh, um, I guess I should go ahead and introduce the symbol machines here. This is the inclined plane and um, you can see there's the wheel and axle with the car. And so the car will roll down the inclined plane and bump into this tennis ball which will roll <laughs> down this lever causing it to shift forward um, you can see the fulcrum right there and when it shifts forward this string will be released which is attached to a pendulum which will swing back and forth and as you can see the pendulum itself is attached to a stick <laughs> which has a hand attached to it which will swing back and forth petting this kitty named Chupacabra. I'll go into more detail about the energy transitions and the different physics concepts utilized later, but I also want to point out another simple machine right there is the wedge, which is holding all this up. All right, I had to make a couple adjustments, mostly to do with weight, but I've got my spring potential energy in the Nerf gun loaded up, ready to go. So I'm gonna aim it at that green book to start the whole process. So you can see there's a very slight wave of the hand, but I would say the kitty is gently petted. Right, well, before I close out, I just wanna talk about some of the ways that my project met the requirements for this. First of all, it did utilize um, three different types of energy that I could track and measure, um, and those were kinetic, energy, um, gravitational potential energy, and spring potential energy. Now, obviously, um, there was also a degree of mechanical energy, um, you know, not, sorry, not mechanical energy. Um, so with those types of energy that I mentioned earlier, there were several um, energy, like, convergence transitions. In this lab, the first was the spring potential energy of the, um, like, the spring in the Nerf gun um, was converted to kinetic energy as the like Nerf bullet flew through the air. And then the force from that converted the potential energy of the um, books to kinetic energy as they started to fall. And that in turn um, converted the gravitational potential energy of the car at the top of the incline plane to kinetic energy as it started to roll down once it was released. Then the gravitational potential energy of the weights on the lever was converted into kinetic energy as it started to move. Lastly, the gravitational potential energy of the, um, the weight of the pendulum was converted into kinetic en energy as the pendulum was released and um, Started to swing back and forth. As I discussed the physics concepts that were um, demonstrated in this lab report, I feel that it's important that you meet the muse who was too afraid of the sound to actually join it. She's actually mad at me right now, so I'm gonna let her go. But yeah, so <laughs> this um, this 
My machine demonstrated um, a number of physics concepts, um, including but not necessarily limited to kinematics, dynamics, um, rotational motion, and sorry, my phone died. Um, and energy, gravitation, momentum, and simple harmonic motion, as we see with the pendulum. All right. Thank you for watching my video. Please vote for me and <clears throat> my cat. And I um, hope that you learned something about physics from my video, with even with its quirks, such as the textbook, the physics textbook falling to the floor. That wasn't supposed to happen, but the machine still worked. So have a nice day.